joining us for this evening's presentation of the Washington National Opera's Opera Institute at American University. We hope you enjoy the show. Good evening, and welcome to the Opera Institute recital program here on the Millennium Stage. My name is Cindy Oxbury, and I'm the faculty director and stage director for Opera Institute, and I will co-host the program this evening. Washington National Opera, with the Kennedy Center Education Department, offers education and community programs, with Opera Institute being one of the performance training for youth programs. The Opera Institute curriculum provides the training components essential for well-educated singers with a focus on Italian art song literature. I would like to introduce my colleague now, Dr. Patrick O'Donnell. Good evening. I am the head coach and opera history instructor and your accompanist for this evening's performance. Our first art song performer is Jane DiLiberto. She is from Arlington Heights, Illinois. I'll be singing Spirate Pur Spirate by Donaldi. In this piece, I am sending my love on the wind to the person that I love, hoping that the wind will carry back a reply that says that they love me. Spirate Pur Spirate Our next performer is Lauren Reddit. She is from Baltimore, Maryland. Hello, I will sing Kio Mai Di Posa by Handel. In my art song, a young woman is trying to prove to her boyfriend that she loves him, would never leave him, and he has to believe her. Oh, 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 
Our first opera scene is from Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel, brother and sister, live in a cottage deep in the forest. They're home alone, supposedly doing their chores, while their mother and father are in the village working. You can imagine they don't work. They want to play. In fact, they want to dance and play. Samantha Fusco, Gretel, is from Schwenksville, Pennsylvania. Amelia Parks, Hansel, is from Traverse City, Michigan. Here now is the opening scene from Hansel and Gretel. You clap, 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 right foot first, left foot down. 
with guidance from our Opera Institute faculty, consisting of six coaches and three voice teachers, all participants performed in an Italian art song recital one week ago. Our next art song singer is Jalen Simmons. She is from Baltimore, Maryland. Hello, I will be singing Sorge nel Peto by Handel. In my piece, a young girl has come to the sudden realization that she is in love with someone from her past. She then promises to keep her love strong and true. The next performer, Rachel Kobernick, is from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Hello, I will be singing Tu Lo Sai by Pirelli. In my art song, a young woman is so in love with a man that even though he is cruel and unfaithful, she still loves him. Thank you. 
Our challenging curriculum includes master classes with international artists such as Richard Stowell, Harlan Blackwell, Stanford Olson, and Elizabeth Bishop. Qualified professionals present workshops on dressing for success, resume preparation, and picking the right college. I would like to introduce our second opera scene, a sextet from the Mozart opera Così Fan Tutte. A wager has been set in place by Don Alfonso for his two friends, Guglielmo and Ferrando. They have supposedly gone off to war, but actually returned disguised as foreigners because the bet is that the girlfriends, Fior de Ligi and Dorabella, will not be able to remain faithful to their sweethearts for 24 hours. Don Alfonso has enlisted the aid of Despina, the maid to the ladies. So here we are. The sisters are alarmed by the presence of strange men in their home and the Albanians attempt to win over the sisters. Let's see if they succeed. Rosemary Crimp, Fior de Ligi, is from Kennebunk, Maine. Taylor Mitchell, Dorabella, is from Forestville, Maryland. Greta Grotheis Despina is from Traverse City, Michigan. Chris Melton Ferrando is from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Matthew Moore Guillermo is from Baltimore, Maryland. And Jason Rizdana, Don Alfonso, is from Mission Vejero, California.
Our next art song performer is Danielle Barnett. She is from Armonk, New York. Hello, I will be singing Il Poveretto by Verdi. In this piece, I'm a weary soldier who has spent his life fighting for his country, but now I feel as if my country has forgotten me. Institute has open auditions for high school students who are already engaged in vocal studies and are seriously interested in pursuing a career in opera. Students this year came from around the United States and from the wonderful land down under, Australia. Our third opera scene, a trio, comes from Die Fledermaus by Johann Strauss. The facts you need to know, Eisenstein is a well-to-do gentleman, but his life is falling apart. He's been sentenced to a fortnight in jail for a civil, civil offense, and he has too many old flames in his life. Now his friend Alfred and his wife, Rosalinda, they're having an affair. Divorce seems eminent. Now here the three are, trying to have a civilized conversation about it all. Taylor C. Rosalinda is from Las Vegas, Nevada. Nathan Bryan Eisenstein is from New South Wales, Australia. Ryan Hurley Alfred is from Huntington Woods, Michigan. Here now is the trio from Die Fledermaus. The pace that you take up 
is one we can fake her to judge by the maker. The plaintiff will break her. The court will make her. As all there is, they come. A scandal you'll break her. They're in for a shake her. A word to the judge. A sweet word like fudge is one that would budge. A judge, a judge with a grudge. at me, you might debate it, so I will frankly state it. I am a genius, I'm a great mind, and one could hardly overrate it. Your modesty enhances your legalistic skill. You make me feel my chances are virtually nil. A brief review is all I want from you, and all you do is and supped, while telling what my heart meant, they came to interrupt, and ashen went her passion, their fashion was abrupt. I take it as a fact, they caught you in the act. But let me tell you all the hockered are, aren't you, my lawyer? I ask myself with what I have heard, have I the face to handle the case? My rage is just, but still I must remember you, my employer. The legal mind, the legal mind, present them in judgment to attain every light. The party is shit, perhaps too sweet. You signed in the legal mind, we intertwined. Legal mind. The episode was harmless, a transient little kiss. A husband would be charmless if he took it on this. A wife turned this on. Deception is the word. How dare you dare to misunderstand? Remember, you're our lawyer. But you deserve a real reprimand, adultery as plain as can be. But after all, I must recall, you really are my employer. The legal mind, the legal mind, deceptive and dumb, and the can't be shit, the waste is free. free. You find in the legal mind the intertwined legal mind. It's clear to all, including me, you need a calling down. The name for you could only be a most noble noun. It seems you do not know your place. My word! You need a calling down, you most improper noun. Your words are bare, the misapplied, you're working for the other side. Deny that you committed a crime against your vows. Your husband, if not written, do not be acquitted. You fear, you hear, I hear. You call me an improper noun. Improper noun, the name for me. But what about my other half? A proper noun is here to be. You call me an improper noun. Is he to be a father calling down? An angel wing is he to wear? Is there a ring around his head?
Our next art song performer is Mary Buckingham. She is from Annapolis, Maryland. Hello. I will be singing Per Non Penar by Dastorga. In this piece, I am professing my love to this man, telling him that I will never leave him. Even if he is cold and cruel, I will remain true to the end. <laughs> I went looking for a nice all woman's chorus scene and what I was looking at just made me depressed. So I decided that I would take some liberty this evening and simply removed the male peasants and left the women of the town in the square all by themselves. We meet Adina, a wealthy landowner. We meet Nemorino, a mere peasant, who's in love with her. She has tortured him by simply being indifferent to his amorous intentions. She has arrived at the square to read the story of Tristan and Isolde, and so Nemorino is inspired to get his own love potion to win her affections. Let's watch and see how this works out. Isabel Anthony, as Adina, is from Malibu, California, and again Nathan Bryan returns to the stage as Nemorino. Here now is the delightful opening scene from The Elixir of Love. Oh, no, 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 no,
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our fabulous conductor, Mr. David Simmons, who's a member of our faculty. Our next art song singer is Aaliyah Powell from Baltimore, Maryland. Hello, I will sing Un Moto di Gioia by Mozart. My heart is full of joy and delight that there is no room for sadness. But if I'm ever grieving in love, I am always trying to find peace.
Our fifth opera scene comes from the opera by Rossini, Il Barbieri di Siviglia, or The Barber of Seville. A lovely girl, Rosina, lives in the home of Dr. Bartolo, who is a wealthy old man, and she is his ward. Now, Rosina wants to meet the handsome and dashing stranger Lindoro, who she saw in the square from her window earlier that day. So the Count asks his servant, Figaro, to help him meet Rosina. Here we will meet Figaro having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with Rosina, and he convinces her that she must write to Lindoro. During this famous duet, you will discover that Rosina is way ahead of Figaro when it comes to letter writing. I miss love, you really mean it. I myself, tell me he's me loved. I confess I had for his written am I stupid am I stupid what an idiot I have been and now my happy world beats faster my mother commits to life I admit she is my master while she looks so sweet and This 
This is Miss Carlisle Cooney, and she is from Oswego, um, Portland. No, Portland. From Portland, Oregon. And then we had Mr. Isdata return from California. Thank you very much. Last evening, the students participated in their opera scenes performance at the Katzen Performing Arts Center on the campus of American University. Let me now welcome our two piano apprentices on stage to accompany our final chorus scene. They are Corey Davis from Somerset, Pennsylvania, and Derek Galvin from Sykesville, Maryland. <laughs> We end our program with the thrilling chorus scene from Act Three of Verdi's Un Ballo in Mascara. We are in the Royal Opera House Ballroom and a masked ball is about to begin. The guests are arriving, but one of the guests, Renato, is trying to find out the masked identity of the king, Ricardo, who had been having an affair with his wife, Amelia. Oscar, the royal page, tries to evade the inquiry. Renato wants vengeance. He enlists the help of the two conspirators, Sam and Tom. Let the party begin. Martha Rose Hayes, Oscar, is from Denison, Texas. Nicholas Scotsko, Renato, is from Oakton, Virginia. Shell Redpath, Tom, is from Edina, Minnesota. And Matthew Moore returns to the stage as Sam. Here now is the chorus scene from the classic Italian opera, Un Ballo in Mascara. Morte, sì, morte, ma non verrà che parì, qui le spettai o i vano, come vi basta se quello trove, o so d'ingannatrice, gira di mano, quello che passo e tu non lo squadro noi fermò, quello sinistra da brevo dominò. E mentre con te dorme tu scrivi la festa Il conti qui E come L'ho detto E te Non mi dirò Gran cosa Se quando io da voi Orso E per fargli dirò Che mi gollaste a me Via calmati Al mentirmi da so Costo me puoi Oh, 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 oh,
Bravo. Thank you all, everyone, for coming out this evening to see all of these extraordinary young singers from across America and down under. And I'm very proud that they were a member of the 2015 Washington National Opera's Opera Institute. Good night, and thank you. <laughs>